This is probably pretty obvious, but having a well-rounded closet can make life just a lot simpler. Today I'm going through five of my favorite non-clothing wardrobe essentials. And just to make it a little bit more interesting, let's say each one's worth 20 points. After you watch, add up your total, post it in the comments. I truly hate ironing. It's one of those things that from a very young age I just found extremely annoying. However, wrinkles in clothes are inevitable, which is why I love a steamer. I use this one from Conair. You just add water, plug it in, go to work. I'll be honest, it may not be every bit as effective as ironing, but it's way simpler and it's gonna get the majority of the wrinkles out. The wrong hangers can literally ruin your clothes. Whoops. Not only will they cause those shoulder bumps and softer fabrics, but over time, it's actually gonna cause your clothes to age more poorly. There are three different kinds that I really love. First, we have these felt hangers. I get these on Amazon. They're perfect because the material holds on really well. I use these for everything from jeans to button-up shirts. I even use them on knit polos and they never cause any bumps. Next are a suit hanger. These are gonna be a little bit wider in the shoulder area just to really allow the shoulder to be as spread as possible. And they usually have a crossbar along the middle so you can hang your pants on it with the matching suit, obviously. These are just smart because they're gonna make your suit last so much longer because the suit is a little bit heavy. So if it's pulling down on a really thin hanger, the shoulder area is gonna get messed up. Third option is a wooden hanger. These, again, are really great because they keep your things lasting longer because they're a little bit wider, they're a little bit heavier. I like to use these for my nicer jackets just because, again, they are going to be pulling down with a little bit more weight, things like leather. It's just gonna make the garment last that much longer. Obviously, I'm a shoe person. If you're not as crazy as me about them, you may not even know what a shoehorn is and that's fine. Essentially, it's a tool to make putting on your shoes way easier. You just slip the shoehorn into the heel of your shoe, put your foot in and it's gonna cause your foot to slide in so much more nicely and easily. This avoids crushing the back of your shoe and just in general makes it way less annoying to put on things like stiff dress shoes or a tighter loafer or things like Jordan 1s and Nike Blazers, high top sneakers. If you have them, you know that it is really hard to get them on sometimes. So using a shoehorn regularly, it's a smart move. They come in all different sizes. You do not have to have a super long one like mine. It's a little easier because you don't have to bend over as much, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Sticking on the topic of shoes, it's the same thing with shoe trees. A lot of people probably don't use these and that's understandable. However, I would definitely recommend checking them out because they have multiple benefits. First of all, when you wear your shoes, your feet sweat. So these, when you put them in, will actually wick away moisture and keep them from stinking. Also, they help hold your shoes shape, which is gonna keep them from creasing as easily. For the sneakerheads and the dressy crowd, as soon as you are finished wearing your shoes and they're still warm from your foot's heat, slide a shoe tree in there it's gonna hold the shape and it's gonna really cause them to form around it and become extremely comfortable as well. If you're like me, when you get a new pair of sunglasses, oftentimes the hard case they come in either gets tossed or lost. But I'm urging you to try to hold on to at least one of them. Obviously, it's a great way to protect your sunglasses when you're not using them, but the real reason I love them is for traveling. I'm someone who likes to travel with accessory options, a couple rings, maybe a couple watch options, a couple bracelets, and rather than jangle around inside my suitcase when I'm traveling, I put them in the hard case. That way I know exactly where they are and it's an easy place to just store them even once you get where you're going. So maybe keep two, use one for glasses, one for accessories. That's it. I wanna know how many points you guys scored. Make sure you go comment below. I put links in the description to each one of these if you wanna grab some for yourself. They are all super affordable, just really smart things to have. They'll keep your clothes, your shoes, your accessories nicer for longer so you don't have to go spend money on new stuff. Really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel. If there's anything specific you wanna see, drop it in the comments below. You can DM me on Instagram. Go follow me there as well as on TikTok for tons of other little style tips, outfit ideas, all kinds of good stuff. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.